The garage is like hoarded up with so much trash. It looks very modern. Looks like he got some water damage on the floor. Ugh. Wow, this is really comfy. Hands down like maybe top five bedrooms I've seen in an abandoned mansion. <laughs> What's going on today, Ronan fam? So we just got it to the mansion and wow, it's absolutely incredible. I took a look around and geez, this whole place is really interesting from the exterior to the interior. There's not much still left inside, but I just love the layout. And I think you guys will enjoy this. It's massive. It almost feels like you're walking inside a resort. In the year 1976, an impressive mega mansion emerged boasting an extraordinary count of six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. Nestled with its opulent walls was a sprawling indoor pool, offering an oasis of pure relaxation. Surrounding the mansion was a vast expanse of four acres, creating a picturesque landscape that beckoned to be explored. However, as the years went on, this once vibrant abode seemed to have fallen into a state of abandonment its allure fading away. Around 2010, it became apparent that the mansion had been forsaken by its inhabitants. Rumor had it that the last family to live here came from China, their prosperity evident through their thriving businesses in the surrounding area. Unfortunately, fortune turned its back on them, and they found themselves facing adversity, ultimately leading to the sale of their beloved home. The mansion's destiny was sealed when it was acquired by a developer whose intentions regarding the property remain uncertain. Speculations arose suggesting that either the grand structure was to come to demolition or be subjected to a meticulous remodeling process. Consequently, the mansion languished in its abandonment, silently longing for its days to be revived. Remnants of the mansion's past occupants lay scattered. Precious memories and forgotten possessions stood as reminders of lives once lived within these walls while the intricacies of the family's history remain elusive and unknown. Okay, everyone, so we just made it into the mansion. This is how it looks once you walk in. You're just entering this hallway. It's just beautiful. You got these floor to ceiling windows. And actually, this place has a lot of good lighting that I don't even need a light panel for it. Yeah, this is how the front door looks. On my left side is the living room area. And on the right side is more for entertainment. That's where the pool is. So I think we should check out the living room area first. You can see some damage here. I'm not sure if this has been caused by vandals or just storms. But I have a feeling, you know, local kids came here and trashed the place a little bit. Look at the living room. I'm in love with it. But first, let's check out this side over here. I'm guessing at one point this was a bedroom. You got mirror cabinets. And look at this lovely chandelier still left behind. And I can imagine a female doing her makeup right here. And you have immediate access that goes into the backyard. And this is pretty neat. Kind of reminds me of Japan, how you have like these sliding doors. There's not much privacy though, as you can see there's holes in them. other rooms here 
This kind of looks like a bedroom. Well, that's some really cool chandeliers. Look at the floor. It looks like it's painted. If anything, I would kind of use this room as a library. Oh, and here we are. I can see the kitchen. It looks very modern. I like how you have a massive island right in the middle. Still has all the appliances. Get the oven. Here's a microwave. Gas stove. And you have an electric one right here. And look at that, two refrigerators. There's baking soda left. Poof, has a smell to it. Let's see if the water runs. No, the water is not working. I guess only the power is. And that's probably to keep this place from decaying. Here's the freezer. And you have some closet space right here. Probably to keep, you know, your ingredients and other kitchen supplies. Yeah, there's some Chinese products. Definitely from the last family that lived here. Yeah, there's so much storage space. You can definitely fit whatever you need in the kitchen. And look at this. Right next to it is a garden. You had your own little greenhouse. So it's a shame that someone damaged the window. Look, you can see some of the flowers that the previous family just planted. So sad to see that, you know, this garden must have been so taken care of and it's just not in use anymore. The plants and flowers would definitely get enough sunlight to grow. Must have been so beautiful and fun to plant in this room. Let's see what else is down here. Oh, this leads to another entrance, I guess. All right, everyone, so we're walking back to the entrance of the place. We're gonna check out the living room now, but gosh, I've already been exploring for maybe 30 minutes. I'm absolutely in love with this mansion. There's not much inside it, but the layout and the interior and the exterior is just unbelievable. And wait until you see the living room right here. Looks like this was the alarm system. So beautiful. And there's so much space here. Now that I look at it, I think the wood that we're seeing on the ceilings is made of timber. And I love the skylights in the living room. Any home that brings in natural light so easily is just my absolute favorite. Like I can just imagine hanging out here with my friends and family. Big screen TV would probably be right here. You can see the, the sockets for it. It looks like this cabinet had like a built-in speaker system. That's really old because that plays cassette tapes. Look at this. You know, it confirms that this place was lived in by a Chinese family because I can see a record in Chinese. It's strange that they left the couch behind. I can even tell like the style of it is something you would see in China. Looks so like you got some water damage on the floor. Let's just talk about this right here. Wow, this is really comfy. 
If I was living here, I'd probably like put some trees and plants and flowers outside. Now you come over here and you got the giant massive fireplace and the bar. And it looks like on the floor, are like Chinese record. I don't know who these artists or singers are. I'll leave a comment down below. You know, I'm sure I got um, people from China watching my videos. You know, we're an international channel, guys. We have like everyone around the world watching and I appreciate it. Um, just want to say, you know, thank you so much for the support everywhere. Because when I went to China, I actually had fans hitting me up and helping me out. It's just incredible. You know, I appreciate everyone, everyone's races and cultures. I love it all. And that's why I love to travel. But yeah. So if you happen to know some of these artists, leave a comment down below. It's another world in China. They have their like their own celebrities that are not internationally known, but are, but everyone will know in China. You know, there's still some English albums here. Ooh, a karaoke album. So they're definitely singing. Pretty typical for an Asian family to sing karaoke. Weird, there's like an unopened can of Diet Coke. December 2020. Well, it's brand new. It's not old. That's strange that it hasn't been opened if it's brand new. So yeah, if you want to invite friends or family for a party, or just for the holidays, you would have this bar. You can just imagine all the alcohol just placed on the shelf right there. And if you look here, you had some ceiling lights. I bet you they would be able to change color, you know, to set the mood. I wonder what's over here. That's strange, just like a mattress. Maybe a squatter was living here. The parties here must have been so fun. This is literally a dream home. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just a perfect size mansion. Yeah, there's nothing left in the cabinets. What's this? This is probably to make ice. I think this is for a famous Chinese gambling game. I'm sure some of you viewers probably think I'm Chinese. I get that a lot, but no, I'm Filipino. Where are my Pinoyas at? Leave a comment down below. Represent, proud Pinoy right here. Okay, let's see where we should go. Oh, there's another area right here, right behind the giant fireplace. So over here is kind of like the formal living room. You know, it's loud, it's busy, but I guess if you want a little bit more privacy, this would probably be a good place to keep your kids while, you know, the adults had their fun or what I'm guessing too, this is maybe like a little ballroom because he also had like these lights over here. So we pretty much checked the right side of this mansion. Let's head on over to the other side where the pool is. A lot of broken records right here. I bet you Alex did it when I wasn't looking. Oh, there he is. Oh, crap. <laughs> I just really like this hallway. This is a nice closet to have right next to the entrance. You know, just grab your coat and shoes and walk out the door. And look at this, the power still works. This is probably a room mostly for females to put on their makeup and get ready to go out. I bet you there's a bathroom right in here. Yep, I was correct. Oh, it smells. But this is a nice bathroom. I bet you have the perfect lighting to put on makeup. The bathroom kind of reminds me of something you see from Hollywood where the actors would sit down and the makeup artists would do their makeup for them. Yeah, but you got some beautiful marble counters. And look at the knobs. They're like crystal balls. You're probably wondering why does this place have power? Well, it's because that, you know, some of these places, the way to preserve them really well is to keep the power on. But not only that, it's to deter thieves away from stealing the copper and the wires. 
And here we are in the pool. This is absolutely crazy, guys. It's so big. This is something you would see maybe in a gym. This is bigger than I thought. It looks smaller in photos. But this little section right here, it's a good place to get a tan. But I know not a lot of, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, Alex, come join me, man. Let's get a tan. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go to a spa for free, just come here. Dude, I might fall asleep right here. This is kind of comfortable. Well, you can't have a bando without the Christmas decorations, right? Yeah, over here you were able to like open the windows too for fresh air. And I love these lights. Let's go check up upstairs. Oh, these rooms were bedrooms. I have a feeling this leads to the master bedroom. Let's save this a bit. Let's go back over here and still take a good look at the pool before we check out the bedrooms. This is really nice right here, guys. Yet again, you had skylight ceilings, bringing a lot of good lighting. This must have been a nice spot to just, you know, sit down, relax, have a drink and eat some food before you went down to the pool. Not only that, you had bedrooms right over here. If anything, the left side would be a perfect place to kind of rent out. as like an Airbnb. And you could probably charge a big amount since it has an indoor pool. They can just hop into, whoa, lovely bathroom. I love the design and pink color of the tiles. Gives a really like princess feeling to it. Beautiful bathtub. It's small. There's a shower. Oh, and look at the sink. Reminds me of like a vanilla cake. You got some closet space right over here. You know, put some clothes, your robes. It's probably another closet. Probably meant for shoes and slippers. Then we go back over here. Pretty sure the other room will have the same layout. Oh, there's some furniture left behind. This looks a bit bigger. But this is a good look at how the room would look with furniture. I like this. You had a cabinet, probably had the TV. Place it right there. Here's another bathroom. This one looks more manly, I guess. Well, less feminine at least. I didn't notice this, but the sliding doors are mirrored. So you have, you know, some privacy as you were taking a shower in here or a bath. Look, there's still a bar of soap right there. I never would have thought like a mansion would look cool with this type of, yeah, you know, woodwork. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I also like the cobblestones too. Oh yeah, no, the cobblestone was definitely a good touch. Seems like the left side is the only Side that has multiple floors. Guys, this is a really massive pool. I don't think this video can do it justice, just how big this pool is. The deep end must be like 20 feet tall. Before we head down there, over here, you had your own sauna. I love sauna so much. It's just a great way to sweat out. And it's very good for you too. And on each side you had bedrooms. It's bigger than the one upstairs. It looks like 
maybe a king size bed. These definitely feel like hotel rooms, and if anything, they probably did rent this place out. But it's so secluded, I think these were just guest rooms for family members and friends to use when they came over. Same thing here. Each bedroom had its own bathroom. That's so nice. It's a beautiful design. And you had the door that can just lead you right outside to the side of the mansion. Easy access to get to the car, I guess. Here's how the other bedroom looked like. This bed has like a Christmas theme to it. Probably did it on purpose during the holiday season. This is a good amount of closet space. Can't believe some stuff are still here too. I mean, you know how Chinese people are. They love to go shopping. There's a TV. Makes me believe that this place was last lived in the early 2000s. Same thing here, you had a door that can access the side of the mansion. Oh, this bathroom looks way better than the other one. I mean, you don't have the tub, but you had a nice standing shower. Look at that, the towels are just right there. That's probably been there since they were last used. Crazy. Oh, this doesn't... <sighs> So hard to open now. Must be rusty. All right, everyone, it's time to check out the pool. So when I first knew about this place, people were constantly taking photos of this pool. And I thought, wow, that's a really big pool. But now that I'm here in person, like, wow, this is a massive pool, guys. I think the deep end looks to be, well, I'm five feet eight, so, I mean, I'd be drowning right over here. It's probably a good, like, 20 feet. But there's just so much random things. There's a TV. There's even some gym equipment. Like, who threw that here? Oh, we got a water gun. Yo, this one's sick. Oh, it's broken. All right, let's go and check out the master bedroom. I just know it is just by the way it looks. The area we're walking in was the walk-in closet. So all these closets right here was where you would put all your clothes. Yeah, you had more than enough space. You know, I bet these shelves were all meant for shoes. They must've been filled to the brim at one point in time. So I bet this is where they kept some really expensive clothes. And look at that, you had a beautiful spiral stairway. But first, let's go to this room here. This was the master bathroom. Is that a word? <laughs> I think it would be, right? If it's attached to the master bedroom. Even the walls are made of marble. I'm not sure why you had like carpet on the floor because that's not really good when it gets wet. Wow, it definitely has like a really Chinese design on the mirror. It looks like someone was kind of stealing some of these bulbs, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the beams right here. I can just imagine having a bubble bath and it's a jetted tub, so you know it was nice and relaxing. And for the most part, it does get really good lighting here still. It's probably the least lit up room in the mansion so far that we've seen. Over here in the corner was the standing shower. This bathroom is pretty extra. I mean, there's like just a bench right here just to sit. It's a calendar. Ends in December 2009. Kind of makes sense because there's Christmas decorations. So this must be the year when this place got abandoned. Oh, 
Here's the master bedroom. That is incredible. Hands down like maybe top five bedrooms I've seen in an abandoned mansion. Just look at this. Having a bed that's kind of lower to the ground makes it look way more luxurious. That's what I've noticed. Let me tidy it up. Maybe make the picture look nice. Heck, if I wanted to, I can sleep here tonight. I bet the bed is like really comfy and it's probably a really good mattress. I love how over here you can see the courtyard. And at one point it must have looked gorgeous. Just imagine planting flowers over there or, or like a really nice tree. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this master bedroom. But I can now see that the master bedroom had two bathrooms. One that's a little bit closer to the pool area and one right in front of me. This bathroom is so stunning. I love how there's like fake leaves on the floor. Makes it look really cool and apocalyptic. Here's the tub. Also had jets. But I love how this looks. Looks like a swan. Wow. Even the handles are swans too. It's a very famous animal in China. I don't know which bathroom was better. This one or the other one that was pink. I think there was more so like, you know, for the person staying in this bedroom. Maybe the other one was sort of more so for visitors. That's what I could assume. But hey, if you stayed in this master bedroom, you had at least two bathrooms right next to you. Very, very extra. And look at this, the master bathroom comes with two sinks. And they both also have those gorgeous swan looking knobs. This is incredible. Definitely, this place is just blowing my mind. And here's the standing shower. It's a nice shower, you even had a nice place to just sit down right there. And I guess it could be a steam room. I can see right here, there's an option for the steam. You can set the room temperature. And then you got the toilet right over here. And I guess this is a walk-in closet. It's very, very big. There's still some hangers left, some newspaper. It's all in Chinese, so I have no clue what that says. As I'm walking back, I love how there's like a symbol right here stitched on the carpet. Yet again, you have some skylights. Living in this home, you don't even need to turn the lights. They're probably saving a lot of electricity because you just have skylights everywhere. There's so much natural lighting. I know there's some people out there that prefer your room being dark, but man, when you just have the natural sunlight coming in all the time, it just makes me happy. And I guess the master bedroom also had a master living room. Look at this. Check this out. There's probably the TV and a little mini bar right here. You can come outside. Wish I can open this, but it's not budging. Well, I tried. It's crazy to me because the master bedroom alone can be an apartment. All right, so Alex and I, we forgot to do the garage. But we also didn't walk over here. I think I saw this, but I wasn't sure to walk over here because that looked kind of strange. Just want to make sure we're safe, you know? No, oh, that was true. <laughs> I wish I got that on video. <sighs> okay, so this also leads downstairs to the basement, which we still have to see. So maybe we'll go down there from here. Oh, here's the garage. Oh, is this the Was this the one you were talking about? Yeah. No, I guess that was a different door than... So they had different garages? Or is this the same garage? I don't know. All I know is when last time we heard Colin opened that other door. Yeah. And then all we heard was, welcome home. And you're like, <laughs> what? Yeah, no, this is crazy. I've never seen this part though. This is all trash. And so this is nice. Out. You can kind of see the front from here. But yeah, dude, this, the garage is like hoarded up with so much trash. You have all the chest tapes. 
I'm not really seeing anything catching my eye. I think that's a car battery. Oh, there's a foosball table. Bro, you're talking to a foosball world champion right here. Oh, are we? Not? Uh, <laughs> Where's the pucks or whatever? I don't think we have time to play anyway. Let's 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 skip that. We'll have to do it later when we're not exploring. We'll come back. <laughs> Dude, there's VHS tapes. Wait, what's this? Is that uh? Yo, is that a control a Nintendo is, controller? No, it's for a PC. A PC, okay. Yeah, I thought it was like an old like Nintendo NES or something. Yeah. I was like, what? It's probably somewhere around here then. <laughs> Yo, Nintendo sixty four controller. It's just a box. There's nothing in it. <laughs> I do. I bet you there's like a bunch of toys in these bags and like systems that they had, like toys. It's like it looks like a confession they see in churches. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. This looks like the laundry room. So got the washer and the dryer. Yeah. There is a standing shower, but this was probably mostly used to clean stuff. This is the last floor we gotta see, and that's the basement. I can still hear the ventilation. Yeah. The the AC is still running. And that's probably to like keep the basement from getting moldy. So that's this, it. This stops here, but well, there are other spots to go on the, the other side, right? That basement is probably used to control the power to the sauna and the pool, right? If anything, this will lead down to the basement. It's kind of weird that he had something that looks this luxurious going down to the basement because I thought this was going down to a bedroom or for what we all know, this might be going to a bedroom. You got so much closet space yet again. That's all this looks like. It's just closet space and uh, for real. Yeah. Literally just used to fit all their clothes. Like they're, they're just, it's like, I know. Well, Chinese love to shop, so <laughs> they need their extra closets, you know? No, it's a hundred percent true. I know it's a stereotype, but I see it all the time. All right, here are, here's the last steps we have to check. This must lead down to the basement. It's the only way. Don't tell me they had no basement. Look at this. What's up? Oh, oh. What the? that's scary. It even says keep out right there. Bro, that might lead to the dungeon. All the power is still on in here. This looks so creepy, man. I'm glad I'm not alone exploring this. <laughs> yeah, um, Danger keep out. Okay, we're staying away from there. That's, that's the... That probably has a lot of like electricity running. Yeah. Okay. Damn, that still works. Yo, this looks like straight out of a horror movie. For real. Bro, what if it leads even further down? What the heck? Bro, there's footprints too. What? There's like footprints, like yeah. someone was walking through here. I'm sure other stores have gone. Out. Looks like this pipe bursts. You can kind of see traces of water at one point. Well, that's it. Yeah. That's Just like, all yeah, ventilation. Room. Yeah. Alright. Nothing. It's so empty. This it's is really scary, empty. Right? This is really Let's get out of here. Yeah, well, I agree with that. <laughs> the basement is definitely not your typical basement, but you still have a good amount of space here to turn it into something else. fam thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it a lot and if you did don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button bell this was definitely one of my most favorite abandoned mansions i've explored i just love how modern it was but leave a comment down below what your favorite part of the video was i think for myself it was definitely exploring and finding the bedroom and the pool so crazy to see them. I just love the bedroom and how luxurious it felt. And the pool was definitely the biggest pool I've seen in an abandoned mansion. A quick shout out to my boy Alex for exploring with me in this video. His link will be down below in the description. You guys have to check out his YouTube channel. Anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. I have an early start tomorrow morning to film some crazy places. 
But just to give you guys a little update, I've left Japan. I'm finished with the Japan series and I'm now in another country in Asia. And I'm going to be creating another series for you guys. And that's all the detail I can give you. I'll give you guys the full announcement probably in next week's video. Until next time, guys, don't forget to live a life of freedom and wonder. And I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace and thanks for watching.